Huan Ying. <laughs> it is great to see you again. Do you know that the Toronto area actually has five Chinatowns? It's the second largest Asian community in North America. On weekends, downtown Chinatown is packed with people shopping, eating, and just plain having fun. You look at it, and you might think, hey, you are in Hong Kong. Most of the restaurants in Toronto Chinatown are family rented and many of the culinary traditions are passed down through many generations. So we are going to cook up some delicious dishes today. But first, let us be a part of an exciting culinary adventure with our father and son culinary team. This is one of the Chinatowns in Toronto. There are actually several and it is easy to get there by streetcar. Look at the produce, amazingly fresh. Here's Pearl Court Restaurant. It is run by Chef Chen, a dear friend of mine from high school back in Hong Kong. Many of the restaurants in Chinatown actually offer a very traditional menu in Chinese for the local customer because a lot of them are new immigrants. They cannot read English. Ah, here is a traditional one. Crispy fried goose intestine. And then seaweed, seafood chowder. See? Exotic menu for the exotic taste. As you can see, there are plenty of different flavors to go around. Dim sum, yaman, yaman, yaman. And look, dim sum for just one dollar Canadian. And speaking of traditional family dining, here's a unique example of the term family restaurant. Chef Wing Lai was trained in Hong Kong, starting at a tender age of 13, just like me. Now he passes the culinary torch to his son, Jerry. This is the culinary tech team, father and son, working side by side, dish by dish. Like this, black bean chicken with shallot. As we can see, Chef Lai believes in hands-on approach when it comes to cooking. His hands are always on the move. He says that working keeps him young in spirit. I can tell you that it keeps him young in body as well. Cooking is great exercise. Now it's Jerry's turn to shine. He is making a classic dish, mushroom and baby bok choy in garlic soy. See the tossing action? Like father, like son. Here's the family signature dish. Walk braised lobster tails in creamy rum sauce. Chef Wing Lai has made this mark with Toronto diners with this wonderful lobster dish. And now, his son has also mastered it. A few special ingredients are added. You can see that, like this everywhere. Chef Light is standing by to supervise, just to make sure that everything is up to the family standard. Mm. Oh yeah, <laughs> that means marvelous. This is an honor to share this feast with the father and son team and a group of Chinese Canadian culinary experts who know just how good this food is. What an added pressure to also meet Chef Lai's charming and talented daughter, Margaret, who helps run the family business. Our family has actually evolved around the business. I think without the business, the family wouldn't be as strong and as dedicated to what we do if it wasn't for the business itself. My father puts all his effort, his passion into his food. So you're getting a piece, a part of my father when you taste the food. My brother, Jerry, watches, absorbs, speaks very little, and he does it. And over the years, he's come a long way with progression, and I'm so proud of him, I am. And to be honest, this is our secret. This dish, my brother makes it better. <laughs> and I have to tell you that when you have lobster and all the other wonderful exotic things and maple pepper garden, it is going to cost you a bit more than that one dollar dim sum, but it is worth it. Continue success, Chef Lai, Chef Lai Junior. Continue success. Mmm.
If you love lobster, particularly the Atlantic lobster, wow, Boston Canadian lobster, whoa, remove this. And then I'm going to use a scissor to cut this. And then cut this up. Remove the whole thing out. This already out. So I'm going to put this in a blanching, boiling water to blanch it, okay? Put it right here. In the meantime, I want to show you how easy it is. In fact, you can even do the whole thing. Blanch the whole thing. See? Do the whole thing. And then we're going to put this, remove these. And then set this aside and cut this into smaller pieces. Set it over here. I'm going to marinate the lobster meat. Okay? This is all we need, I think. Marinate it with a tiny bit of salt, cornstarch, and pepper. Okay? Let it marinate. In the meantime, we're going to get ready to stir fry this. Very simple dish, but it's delicious. This is probably one of the most unique lobster dish I have ever tasted. When I went to see the father and son team, oh, Jerry's father is good. But Jerry make even better lobster. First, you heat, turn this on, put a tiny bit of butter. You will have butter here. Use whatever amount of butter. Two tablespoons or three tablespoons, doesn't matter. Okay? And then I put the lobster. And the chopped onion, oh, chopped onion, a lot of chopped onion, right here. Very good. Until they're fragrant, okay? In the meantime, I'm water blanching all of these. Core and the shell. Look at this, when it's done, this beautiful color, okay? Which we'll use as a garnish. In the meantime, while I'm stir frying this, I'm gonna show you a little bit about my favorite shellfish lobster. This is Atlantic lobster. You go to um, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, or Boston area, a lot of these lobster. Look at this. How can you tell where does a lobster is male and female? Because m most people, most gourmet chef and gourmet uh, home cooks love female lobster because female lobster is sweeter, okay? Now this is how you can tell. You turn it to the other side, this is male with a lot bigger. This is much, much bigger. You see this? This is a male. And then this is a female. Look at this, very skinny. You see, I'm going to remove this, remove this so everybody can see. This is the female, large skin. But this is actually sweeter, okay? So this is how you can tell. Now, just in case you're still confused, hey, don't worry. I make it easy for you. Green rubber band is male. Yellow rubber band, beige rubber band is female. So I'm going to keep this actually one of my favorite ingredient in food and then we put the lobster right here mm, turn it high whoa look at that and then you put a tiny bit of rum very nice to have rum rum whoa and a lot of rum and some cream this is the cream is wonderful okay Oh, if you like rum, use, hey, by all means, use a lot more. And then a tiny bit more pepper. Let it braise, let it braise. And then put a tiny bit of fish sauce, just a few drops. Mmm, just a few drops. And a tiny bit of oyster flavor sauce. Mmm, look at this. And then you can braise it with a tiny bit of seafood soup stock. Seafood stock, look at this, this is very nice. While we're doing this, I'm going to show you how to garnish, how to present the dish, okay? Here, you remove the craw. Look at this. Remove the craw and put it all right here. And then we'll show you how easy it is. Look how beautiful this is. Nice. Look at the craw. You crack the craw with the knife. You see this? Crack this, and you can pull this out like this. Pull this out like this. Mm, look at this. And then you continue to crack this a little bit. And the whole thing comes out like this. Mm. 
Oh, beautiful. You see, this is another crawl. And I have another crawl, which I crack this, and I remove these, I remove these, and I remove this. You can save this, actually. It looks like this. Look at this. This is right hand and left hand. And then we're going to put this and get ready. You know, right hand and left hand. The head is here. The tail is here. I'm going to put the tail here first. And then we're going to finish the cooking. Tiny bit of cilantro. Tiny bit of basil. Use Thai basil if you want. Because it's more flavorful, okay? Oh. And then you lightly thicken this up a little bit. Look at this. More rum. I love the rum flavor. I love the rum. So this dish is basically done. You don't want to overcook them. It's very easy to do. Everybody can do it at home. Okay. Look at this. Let's transfer this and put it right over here. This is the rum flavor. This is, in fact, you can use white wine too. You don't have to use this. Look how beautiful this is. This is something I always like. When this is all nice and done, you put this on the side, and you put this right in the middle, right here, and garnish it with an extra piece of cilantro on the side. You know what? What you have is a beautiful, oh, let's put it this way. Everybody can see better. Here is the butter rum flavor Atlantic lobster. In Chinese cooking, preparation is the key. That means you should prepare ahead of time. That means you should take the time to prepare everything before you cook it. Okay, I just finished cutting up some shiitake mushroom. I've been soaked for almost half an hour to 45 minutes, okay? And I put it right over here. And then also I'm going to cut up some fish. This is wonderful. You can use any fish. You can use halibut. You can use cod. You can use sea bass. You can use everything. I cut an angle like this. Cut it up. And you cut it up. And you cut it up. Okay, cut into big pieces like this. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna line them all up. Let me show you how to do it. You have a, a piece of fish, okay? Put it right here. A piece of ham, smoked ham or Smithfield ham. Put it right here. Or Canadian bacon will do. And I put a piece of this mushroom right over here. Let's get another piece. Another piece, another piece. Another piece. Look at that. Very, very simple. Okay? That's all you have to do. Line them all up like this. And then put a tiny little bit of dry tangerine peel. You see? Dry tangerine peel. A couple of pieces. Dry tangerine peel. Now this is dry tangerine peel right here. Look at this. When it's dry, it looks like this. You got to soak them. Okay? Soak them. And this is, of course, the dry shiitake mushroom. Dry shiitake mushroom like this, you soak them, they're nice and soft and pliable. See this? Nice and pliable like this. And you can use it in a variety of dishes. Now we are ready to steam this, okay? Here is what we have. Look at this. This is a steam rack. This is put it over your steamer. But inside I have another steam rack slightly smaller than this. So you can put the plate right on top. Whatever you want to steam, you can put it right on top of here. You see that? Huh? And then you can put it right over here and let it steam. Now, we're going to let it steam for a little while in the meantime. I'm going to move all of these and get ready and tell you what else I'm doing, okay? Let's remove all of these. Now, while we're steaming this, all it takes is about four minutes to five minutes because it's thin slices. I'm going to make some sauce, okay? Here, I have a tiny bowl of fish stock, okay? And I have a tiny, tiny bit of soy sauce. And a tiny, tiny bit of wine. Mmm, tiny bit of wine. And of course, I like to have a tiny bit of oyster flavor sauce. Oyster flavor sauce is very good basic sauce for a lot of Chinese dishes. This is going to be our sauce, clear sauce. Bring it to a boil, and then you thicken it up a little bit. If you want to make it l l even better, what you're going to do is, let me show you. Put a tiny bit extra. Extra dry tangerine peel. You see? You chop it up. You see? And you mince this, and then you can put it in the sauce. You 
You see? Very, very simple. And then you're going to put this and mix this sauce a little bit more. A citrus flavor, citrus flavor. This is nice and done. And then when the fish is done, I'm quite sure the fish will be done. Mmm, this is very good. This sauce is going to be nice and clear. Let's check. This one is cooking for our guests. Oh, look at this. The fish is done. How are you going to remove these from here to there? If you do it like that, whoa, your hand is gone. Your finger is gone. You can't use your finger for the next two weeks. Now, this is the trick. You go to Chinese market. You buy one of these little tong, uh, Chinese tong. They come, either three of these, you can grab this. You can hold on to this, like this, or You can get one of these. Look at this. One. You see this? Oh, look at that, huh? And then we're going to put the sauce on top. The sauce is ready. Whoa, this is done. Make sure the sauce is ready. The sauce is definitely ready. Okay, good. The sauce is ready. Everything is ready. We're going to put this right over here. In the meantime, remove some of these moisture. Okay? Very good. If you have gai lan, Chinese gai lan, water blanch them and put it right over here. This is gai lan, put it right over here. You see, put a piece of extra gai lan right in the middle. Give color contrast, Chinese cooking is color contrast. You put the sauce right on top, right on top. You see this? Now, once again, hey, for safety reason, you can use all kind of uh, baby bok choy, or whatever. You put it right over here, and this is what you have. Steamed fish fillet with smoked ham and Chinese greens. I'm water blanching some baby bok choy, Shanghai baby bok choy, for about two and a half minutes. I'm gonna take it out, okay? And then I'm gonna dip it into this nice cold water. So this way, it stops cooking a little bit and keep that nice green pigment. Oh, drain it a little bit. And I put it right over here, okay? And remove these. And then, I'm gonna show you how to finish the dish. Here I have some garlic. I'm gonna show you how to, easy it is to chop the garlic and fry the garlic. First, cut into little pieces like this and line them all up, line them all up, line them all up, just like this, okay? And then you go, Julian, see, and then you chop them all up. After you do that, you can use it for stir frying, and also you can deep fry it, okay? You can deep fry this and set aside for this particular dish. I put it right over here. Look at this, I'm gonna show you this. After you chop this up, you can use it for stir frying, and you can also deep fry this, and you come up some beautiful, nice, wonderful, golden brown deep fried garlic. Now, let us get ready to cook. Ah, here we turn this on, put a tiny bit of oil, okay? I want to do dry frying, just enough oil. And then some garlic, okay? Stir. And here I have some mushroom here, which is already water blanched. I have some butter mushroom, also shiitake mushroom, water blanched. We we'll put it right over here. Water branch, dry frying. Oh because there's enough moisture in the mushroom itself. Put a tiny bit of pepper, flavoring. Put a tiny bit of soy sauce, and just put a tiny bit of mushroom flavor soy. Mushroom flavor soy. Okay, add some extra. Let it braise a little bit. Oh, When the wok is hot, sometimes flame comes up. You just have to beware. This is a hot wok, and this is nice and ready. I will let it brace a little bit. If you want, you can even use a teeny tiny bit of moisture, but not too much, because you don't want to. Oh, this is nice and done. We'll let it brace. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to present the dish. Here, I have a beautiful plate. One side is Shanghai baby bok choy. Look at this, Shanghai baby bok choy on one side. I'm gonna put the big one in the middle. Shanghai baby bok choy on this side. Regular baby bok choy on the other side. Oh, look at this. Very simple. 
Everybody can do this at home. That's why I always use the slogan, Yan can cook, so can you. If Yan cannot, don't even try. Okay, here, and the mushroom is done. I'm gonna put this right over here, because I wanna show you how to present the dish, okay? Here, I have mushroom here. Now, I already have some f extra fried garlic here, and then you put all this button mushroom in the middle. You see this? Nice and beautiful. Dry fry, okay? Put it right in the middle. And I put the shiitake mushroom right on the side. Look at this. This is how you make the dish looks more interesting. And of course, you don't have to do it. It's just take a little bit extra time to do it. Some fried garlic. Oh, look at this. Now, this is a very simple dish to do, but I want to show you. When you go to the store, you can easily buy some Shanghai baby bok choy. This is Shanghai baby bok choy. This is the granddaddy baby bok choy. This is the mommy baby bok choy. This is the little baby, baby, baby bok choy. So baby, second baby, third baby, and the Shanghai baby. Okay, when this is all nice and done, we're gonna put it right over here. You can see this, it is. Mushroom and baby bok choy and garlic soy sauce. Your family would love this. In fact, you might have to cook it for them every day. So see you soon. And remember, if Yan can cook very healthy food, so can you. So go home, go get some baby bok choy, and do it. Zai jian.